We heard a rumor towards the end of the 2022 season, but now it is official. Mick Schumacher is ending his partnership with Ferrari that he's had since 2019 and is going to be joining Mercedes as a reserve driver in the 2023 Formula One season. I'm happy for him. I'm really happy Mick will be involved in a Formula One team in some kind. He'll still be kind of around in 2023, but sure, his 2022 season, it definitely could have been better. Um, he did have a couple of high points. Silverson and Austria definitely were the high points for his season with those two points finishes and strong races within those um, two races, weekends there in the middle of the season. But it was such a shame to see him lose his seat. Uh, we'll have to wait and see whether it was the right choice, whether Haas made the right choice or not. But Mick will still be sticking around in 2023. And must I might just add on here, I really should not be recording this while I have the F1 Esports qualifying show on on my monitor right here. But anyway, esports aside, when talking about Mick joining Mercedes, team boss Toto Wolf had to say, Mick's a talented young driver and we're delighted to have him join the team. He's a hard worker and has a calm and methodical approach and is still hungry to learn and improve as a driver. These are all important qualities and we're excited for him to help us develop the W14. We also know that with two years of experience racing in Formula One under his belt, he'll be ready to step into the car at, at short notice to replace either Lewis or George, should that need arise. Meanwhile, the man himself, Mick Schumacher, commented on the announcement of him joining Mercedes. I'm thrilled to be part of the Mercedes AMG Patronus F1 team as the reserve driver for 2023, and I'm committed to give it my all to contribute to their performance in this very competitive and professional environment. I take this as a new start. And I'm just excited and grateful to Toto and everybody involved for putting their trust in me. F1 is such a fascinating world and you never stop learning. So I look forward to absorbing more knowledge and putting in all my effort to the benefit of the Mercedes team. Sorry, this is a slight side note here. I, like I said, I have the F1 Esports qualifying show up here on my monitor. And of course, you know, at the beginning of the qualifying show, they'll look at some tweets, you know, about the day, the action of the day before. And I just saw two of my tweets they just spoke about. Just wanted to mention it. Uh, I'll put the two tweets in question up on screen here now. As we are keen and remember, Mick's father, Michael, drove for Mercedes between 2010 and 2012, coming out of retirement for those three years to join Mercedes when they came back into Formula One for the first time since 1950. And now, 11 years after Schumacher retired again, that the second time for good, the Schumacher name is back with the Brackley-based team, and I think joining Mercedes is going to be a really good thing for Mick. As I mentioned already, 2022 was a pretty bit of an up and down season for Mick. There was a lot of moments that could have been better. He had a couple of standout drives, Austria and Silverstone, as I mentioned. I'm done, well, 2021, let's just not even go there, because I swear to God, a tractor would have been quicker than that 2021 Haas car. I also feel like Haas wasn't really a team where Mick could really grow and develop much of the driver it was a good starting point for him and I feel like it maybe was a bit of a good thing that you know he the 2021 Haskar maybe wasn't quite so good uh, because it could just kind of allow him to not have as much expectation on him because like okay we know the car is bad that kind of takes a bit of expectation off of him and, you know I've seen it um mentioned and spoken about and I do kind of agree with this I wonder how different it could have been for Mick had he debuted in Formula One with Alfa Romeo instead of Haas I've seen people, you know, talk about that a bit, and honestly, it could have been a completely different story for Mick had he gotten into Formula 1 with Alfa Romeo instead of Haas. But while I feel like maybe Haas wasn't the team where Mick could grow, so to speak, I feel like Mercedes is a team where he can do that. He's joining a team with Lewis Hamilton and George Russell driving the cars. I mean, Lewis, he speaks for himself. I don't even need to say anything there. And then as for George, he is a very, very talented driver and surely a future world champion when everything comes together for him. Mick becoming part of that team and able to learn from Lewis and George and their kind of knowledge that they have from Formula One and driving and learning from the rest of the team as well. A team Mercedes that between 2014 and 2021 won the Drivers and Constructors Championships eight times each. 
phenomenal records that Mercedes, it's phenomenal what Mercedes achieved, by the way, between 2014 and 2021. I feel like that's going to be a good environment for Mick to just learn more and pick up more about Formula One and improve as a driver for when he comes back on the grid, if he gets back on the grid. It's definitely going to be a bit easier now for him to get back on the grid, I feel, than it would have been had he not got this this role as a reserve with Mercedes. It is a good environment for a young driver to find themselves in, is my point. And that is going to be beneficial for Mick, I feel. like it, I, feel, I feel like a lot of people are maybe going to agree with me on this, but this reserve role will be a good, really good thing for Mick Schumacher and his career in the future of it. And who knows, perhaps when Lewis Hamilton retires from driving in Formula One, Mick is going to be the driver to replace him, you know, or maybe Mercedes could work with Mick and his management to kind of fight his corner, so to speak, and speaking to other teams and trying to get him a, a drive with another team on the grid to then come and replace Lewis when the Brit retires from Formula 1. I heard Lewis is looking for another contract after his current one ends at the end of 2023. We'll just have to wait and see on that one. I, that's just what I've heard. But my point is, could we for in this few, sometime in the next few years see a George Russell Mick Schumacher lineup at Mercedes? It's entirely possible. But what do you think? What do you think of Mick joining Mercedes? Do you think it's going to be a good thing for him? Um, I do. I personally think it will be a very good thing for him. And do you think that Mick could one day replace Lewis Hamilton at Mercedes? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new um, and want to stick around for more of my Formula One content. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.